Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another round of Wednesday Wellness. Today, it's, I'm happy to introduce Radish R. Rao, a clinical hypnotherapist, a yoga expert who heals through radical affirmations, yogic modules, and therapy. He works on relieving emotional pain and imbalance and breaking unwanted repeated patterns of your life. He does this through personalized positive affirmations and identifying the root cause of the unwanted issues in your life. So Ratish focuses on physical body alignment, identifying the right root cause, or the, actually the right cause of your physical pain and giving the right solutions. He helps you in, in activating, flexing and strengthening the right muscles. He also specializes in knee care, spine care and hip care programs. He's a with a, co a corporate background of more than 18 years. He understands corporate work and he's the chief energizing officer of the Happy, Yoga Yo Happy Yogi Company. He conducts mini and short workshops on various topics in asana and also short-term and long-term courses. Yoga teachers, fitness trainers and fitness freaks attend these programs. But today you're going to have an interesting topic. It's he's going to guide us through water affirmations therapy and yoga affirmations therapy. Over to you, Radish. We're looking forward. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Uh, it was nice uh, to, of them to host me on this. Thanks, Varsha, for contacting me. I don't know whether you're there or not. Okay, fine. Okay, so we have very short time, so let us not waste much time. I'll just straight away go to what we are uh, supposed to be doing uh, on today's class. Okay, so, oh, uh, the sharing needs to be done. I have a PPT uh, and some video also I have to share. Can you give me that, yeah, time, yes. please? Absolutely. Yeah, so not to waste time until the time I get that access. So the session is about water affirmations. Um, it's like this. Um, uh, I hope like, you know, the people who are here, maybe uh, like, you know, there must be something, some people who are new to affirmations, designing affirmations. We are not talking about designing affirmations here. We are talking about uh, a new form of using affirmations uh, where uh, uh, we use one of the element predominantly. We use all the five elements. Okay, one of the element we use predominantly that is uh, water. Okay, so when it, let me see, yeah. So when it comes to this, uh, just let me just open the PPT. Just give me one more minute. If it doesn't work, then we'll go on. Something has gone wrong. Okay, let me just uh, take you through um, uh, the general thing because it would have been better if I had got this uh, PPT on the spot, um, which would have helped you to understand things better. Something has gone wrong with my side. Let me keep trying in between. So in between, I'll just tell you, uh, uh, when it comes to like, you know, fire elements, everybody knows about the fire elements, like, you know, earth, eater, water, um, fire and uh, uh, space and all. 
So here we predominantly use uh, water element. So yeah, the, the one more part um, is about the asana part, which we are talking about. Uh, one of the part in the yoga that is asana. We are going to be uh, uh, understanding how mind and body. Everybody knows that mind and body are one. Like you know, it is integrated. So mind and body, when it comes to mind, is an invisible body, and body is a visible mind. Okay, so whatever is happening in your mind will come to your body and whatever is happening in your body will go to your mind. <clears throat> so that's how it work, functions. That is what we work on affirmations at the mind level, which will come to the body. And then we uh, work through energy level from our body, which will uh, put our mind uh, in place whenever you feel down, etc. So that's how it functions. So now when we come to this, um, uh, we'll come to the asana affirmations later. First, we'll come to this part of water uh, affirmations. So you have seen in the past, um, like, you know, in uh, uh, Rishi Munis, when they have to give shrap, what they do, okay? They use their kamandal, they put some water on their uh, palms, and then they chant some things, and then they say what? Like, you know, tum ye ban jayega, tum wo ban jayega, tumara aisa sarvanash hoga, tumara aisa sarvanash hoga, and all those things they'll say. And then they'll just sprinkle it on you, okay? On the person, whomever they need, need to uh, give that curse. So uh, here, we are not using that for the purpose of curse, okay? What we are going to be doing is same activity, but we are using it for our own goodness. Okay. So you'll put water in your uh, palms. And then, so now one comes is a water uh, element. Okay. And then comes the space element is already there because you are in the space. And then you are going to be dropping that water into the mother earth or some plant anywhere. Okay, if you are not having the access to the Mother Earth, you can plant uh, uh, as we are in Mumbai, like you know, you can just drop it in your own plant in the balcony. Uh, obviously, there is a mother element there, mother earth element there. Okay, so now the fire element, fire element is coming from where? When we, we go back to the Rishi Muni, when the Rishi Muni is putting the water, and then when he is giving that curse, there is a fire element which is coming from within. Okay, so that is, that is one form of anger. Like, you know, fire element is coming from within and then he is throwing that water onto that person or like, you know, lady or a man. And then he is cursing through water, fire, and also using the space, everything, all element together. So here, the fire element is within us. We all know we have some kind of warmth. So that is the fire element we are using. So you think of all those five elements and then you stare at the water which is there in your palm. What happens is thoda bodh pani, like you know, a little bit of water will start going. That's okay. That don't worry about it. The water is gone. My hand is empty. There will be always a small uh, uh, this of water. And then what you do is you chant whatever you need to, like you know, affirmations as you design affirmations. Like you know, you chant. Those who are new to affirmations, you can just uh, ask in the questionnaire session later. So you chant and then you give those deadlines to your affirmations and be very specific. You know very well, everybody, how to design affirmations. I'm not getting into that again. I'm just telling you. And then once or twice or thrice, like, you know, to your heart's content, you just say, and then you watch and then you give that energy to that and then just drop it. That's it. You don't have to throw the way the uh, sprinkle, the way those Rishi Muni say, and then you can just done, you're done, done with affirmations. Now, can you, uh, repeat, like, you know, can you have two, three affirmations at one go? Yes, you can have two, three affirmations at one go. When you're doing it, just with you, when you finished one, then what you do is you just wash your hands and then again, wash your hands means you don't have to go to the bathroom. There itself, just pour it a little bit, wash your hands and again, you go for the second one. Again, wash your hands because the energy is there. Okay. Then the third one, you can do three, four affirmations, four, five affirmations at one go. That's not a problem at all. Okay, now, uh, yeah, we have 10 minutes. So, uh, when it comes to this affirmations, I can use it for self. Like how you use the healing powers. Uh, there are majorly, I feel there are some healers here, many. 
So how we use our healing powers? I can use it for myself. I can use it for others. I can use it for multi-purpose. Okay. So I'll just give you small examples in short. One thing happened in my life when I got introduced to this actually through my sister actually. So when I got introduced to this uh, uh, aspect, I had a major uh, 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 fraud in my bank account. Okay, there was a, a debit of like, you know, some uh, uh, X amount in my bank account. And then uh, it was there, it, it happened when I was in my native. Okay, OTP was also not generated. Without OTP generation, my I just got an SMS. It is debited to your uh, bank account. I was like, what happened? What is happening? And I, in my native, I went to my bank account next morning. This happened in the night. I went next morning. And then there was no uh, response from the bank guys because they said your bank is from Bombay. So you have to just go to the Bombay branch and talk about it. And also it took two days for me to reach Mumbai because I had attended for a function. By the time I came, I felt really badly ill. And then it took almost four to five days for me to go to the bank. Okay, almost one week done with my bank fraud. And then I go to the bank and bank says, hey, what is this? You're coming after a week, it is not done. And then he sends me the police station. He, he says, Ki, you have to get an FIR. I said, the police again fires me saying, Ki, no FIR will be given to you. First of all, you're coming in after a week. You are uh, you have slept on it for so long. I said, no, I was not well. So not well to what from like, you know, it is just um, one half, not even one, half a kilometer. You could have come any which ways. So I gave a lot of excuses, but he just pushed me out. But um, uh, then by then I had already started this water reformation, which I learned uh, in my native itself. So it was, I still remember January uh, month and 27th before it, this happened on the 17th of Jan in my bank account night. And by, I just gave myself a deadline 27th of Jan, 27th of January, I'll get my full money bank into my bank account. And then it was like, you know, eighth day or ninth day after when I went to seventh day or eighth day, I went to the bank police. And again, I was just uh, going in between police and bank, bank and police, but no responses were happening. But my affirmations were on. It's like Bhagavad Gita says, Karm karo fal ki chinta mat I was just doing the affirmation. And you believe it or not, 27th night, some nine o'clock in the night, I get after my last affirmation on the 27th, 10 minutes after my last affirmation of 27th, I get the full amount into my bank account. I was only shocked, like, you know, how is this possible Kirke? because I didn't get any support. Of course, I had done some paperwork and all with like, you know, a lot of running around here and there, but they said, Ki, time ho gaya, not, it's not going to be coming. Uh, we don't know. We can't commit you and all. So that was one story. So that I used it for myself. Okay. This is, this happened this January. And then what happened is like, you know, the, another small story I'll give you. Uh, I am a cat lover, so uh, there is a. I feed this building cats, dogs, and all. So in the lockdown, uh, our dogs went off, and the cats started taking over the territory in our building. And uh, there was a very small uh, kitten. Uh, I named her Chiku, and uh, she was really, really um, uh, bullied by her own siblings, very, very badly. And uh, she found her way out somehow. I stay on the fourth floor. She found her way out somehow inside my wing. And then slowly, slowly, I was being very friendly with her. So she was, she got attached to me a lot. And she was really, really, really badly bullied by her siblings for whatever reasons. Maybe she is just carried in her life. Uh, other, like, you know, there were four or five siblings. Everybody is friendly except this babe. And then what happens is, like, you know, I... Uh, start thinking okay, why shouldn't I try this affirmation on her so then what I started is like you know I started this affirmation okay, Chikku lives in the garden very peacefully with her siblings and then uh, uh, whenever she needs to fight for her rights at her territory she fights so I started this affirmation you believe it or not one week to eight days maximum eight to nine days I started seeing changes in her behavior and then I started seeing changes in her siblings behavior towards her they were sitting together not friendly though but they were at least were able to face each other there was some enmity between them um, uh, from amongst everybody against Chiku and uh, she was really bullied and then now it is not friendliness but they sit in the garden 
without any fighting as such but there is fight happening like you know which is a cat fight which happens otherwise naturally between cats that's a different thing not bullying this girl used to get bullied very badly so then i got more confidence on this affirmation and then i started using it for a lot of other purposes and i saw like you know it helped me so i i started using it for others also like you know from my family friends and all wherever they are in trouble or something like that and i started seeing um uh, it working uh, here and there wherever like you know uh, uh, this um wherever it was possible to this thing only thing is you have to give a deadline as affirmations are there you have to give um uh, uh, and you have to do it daily if if it is possible you do it uh, on a same time same place if it is not possible i have done it my bank account affirmations and chikku's affirmations i have done here and there still it is work so uh, because yoga talks about doing it at the same time same place then i started usually uh, doing it at uh, doing it at the brahma mohurt time in the morning 5 5 o'clock i started doing it in my own house where the plants are there so like you know i started doing it there so i start seeing results wherever i need to be getting results so uh, this is a good thing for everybody well, if you have any questions you can ask me later so one more now coming to the asana based affirmations so here we are talking about mind and uh body integration as i told you mind is an invisible body body is an invisible mind okay so when it comes to this you are doing an asana with your body and you are incorporating mind into the body and you are uh, integrating mind into the body and you are incorporating that affirmations into the asana which you are practicing so here what happens when you are practicing some forward bending asanas okay so if you are a highly egoistic person very anger like you know anger is taken over you so you need to surrender or there are some situations where we have to surrender so uh, there what you do is you, you surrender your body with the forward bend i'll just show you so i am just so sitting sitting position also i just went forward and then just surrender yourself you don't have to feel stretches ye wo sab nothing okay just surrender yourself and then say that affirmation i body is surrendered and then be with that affirmation and then you will see slowly things changing in your life okay uh, in that surrender mode now there are some um, uh, fear based things which happens in our life for that asans like uh, shirsasan like you know headstand pose it's a fear based pose inversions are a fear based pose so those poses also you can use need not be shirsasan to be done uh, like you know without support and all there are a lot of other ways to do shirsasan so and uh, uh, heart opening asanas so, like you know virabhadrasan uh, uh, there is a asan called virabhadrasan so this is also a fear based asan so you go to this level um, bend your leg to this level and then virabhadrasan the name itself says virabhadrasan so you have to get that uh, feeling of being that uh, fearful person and the heart opening chest opening and then your fear uh, you can work on that fear when you are working on that particular asan okay so um, uh, another if emotion is there are some people who are uh, inflexible in their nature okay so they are very rigid so if they want to change themselves like you know you don't have to practice only asan practice you can start using uh, the asan with the twisted poses like now so we are sitting so i am just sitting in the floor and then i am just doing the twisting gentle twisting also will do so i just give my affirmation give myself the affirmation that i am flexible in nature i am flexible in nature so the more and more you do it you'll start feeling that flexibility mind and body is integrated as i told you mind is invisible body body is a visible mind so you are just working on both things together simultaneously so you keep working on that and then you uh, like you know uh, go ahead with that um, affirmations and uh, uh, along with the pose so fear based you can work on heart opening and uh, uh, heart opening we have one more asan that is back bend 
I'll show you Ustrasan. So Ustrasan comes is like camel pose. So you place your palms like this and then bend where your heart opens and also this works on your fear base because you have the fear of falling back here. So all the back bend, these are basic ones which I have just given you demonstration. So this also will help you in the uh, when you're working on your um, affirmations. Okay, so uh, when you're working on your emotions. So you have to have that right kind of affirmations when you're working. And if it is possible, chant the same kind of affirmations, uh, same words and same uh, uh, at the same time, same day you can, uh, uh, same time, same place, you can use uh, all these affirmations whenever you are using. Okay. Uh, let me see if I'm able to get that. Something is wrong. It's okay. Yeah. So um, uh, now uh, the inversions I gave you headstand. Okay. So when I do headstand workshops, online headstand workshops. So when people come, first and foremost, I congratulate them because it takes courage to like, you know, I get a lot of inquiries when I uh, promote the headstand workshop. It takes courage to, first of all, understand that it is possible online to let me register it online because they, uh, they feel, they, I get questions like, how is it possible? Like, you know, without, with online uh, or offline, when I'm in front of you, you can help me, but there you are not there to help me. So I give, I first of all, congratulate that saying you have passed the first test of uh, like, you know, by registering and second is by coming online because there are people who register, but then they still get fear. Uh, like, you know, ki do. because after registering some people, like, you know, in their family, friends or somebody will say, you know, you don't uh, go. It's okay. Money is gone. It's okay. But you don't have to go. So that way, like, you know, then it takes more courage. Then the third step comes the courage when they actually do it. So you're breaking your fear patterns when you're doing it. And then when you actually do it, the techniques which I give along with affirmation, uh, not affirmations there, because it's a small workshop there where I cannot give affirmations, but with the, with the kind of talks which I give uh, to them, and then they, I make them practice. So because of that, they're able to do it within a one hour, one and a half hours time in, our, um, in my workshop which like, you know, builds more confidence. It's like immediately they break out, like, you know, from that, um, the, this thing, oh, this is possible. So when your mind is saying it is not possible and when your body is showing, Are Baba, it is possible. Of course, with my little bit of uh, pushing and like, you know, giving talks, when they get that feeling, Ki, wow, it is possible. Then they, that part of their mind, that part of their brain is open. Okay, so you never know what is opened after that for you in your life. Okay, because once you open one door, which is shut for a longer period of time, then you're opening a lot of other doors through uh, that, uh, the, a lot of avenues through that door in your life. So that's how you can actually gain uh, uh, through this asset. Well, I'm just giving that example extent because that fear is there in headstand. Baki, like, you know, people are doing yoga, this, that, and all those things. It keeps happening. So that's a, um, a normal thing. But when it comes to headstand, it's really, really a, a thing which uh, pulls people back. So this is how, um, uh, like, you know, uh, it helps when you work on the affirmations along with asana practice. So I have given you flexibility uh, for your inflexibility in your life and of surrendering, okay, fear-based and building courage when you are doing the, uh, uh, like, you know, the, these asanas. There are a lot of asanas. Uh, uh, it's just like, you know, I've uh, cut short um, a lot of things. So, yeah. So, actually, we are done. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me two things we have done, covered here, water affirmations and asana-based affirmations. So anybody, any questions? I hope it was clear or any doubts people have for asking. Yeah, I had some videos. That is why we are actually done with that. That's okay.
Hi, sir. Who's that? Shilpa. Yeah, Shilpa, tell me. <laughs> sir, that fear of me, of handstand, still it is there, sir. Still I have not tried that. Acha Shilpa, you are okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So that fear is still there. Ah. Ah. There are some fears which is which will be there for longer period of time. You have yeah. to work on it <laughs> on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so still I have not tried that thing up to now. Yeah, I remember you had some issue, no? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I have that. I remember. Issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a different thing. Yeah. So that's a special case. Special cases are always different. Yeah, yeah. Sir, could you elaborate a little more on affirmations? As you said, you will be discussing. Yeah, so affirmations. See, affirmations are um, uh, should be uh, very specific, okay, and goal oriented, and also deadline oriented. It should be so that, like you know, when you are uh, uh, giving that, um, uh, like um, uh, say, if you are expecting, uh, if you are giving an affirmations for everybody wants money. So I'll say ki I want 10 crores of rupees in my bank account. So I would say ki 10 crores of rupees in my bank account. I'll just, just do an affirmation. Okay. So there is no deadline given. So I need to give a deadline. Okay. By July 31st. Which year? Now 2023. July 20, 31st, 2023. Now it can happen that like, you know, F, uh, 10 crores of rupees is by some default. It is coming to your bank account by July 31st. And then the person comes and says, like, you know, with the bank transaction, there is a mistake, there is an error, you have to return that money, you have to return that money, it's gone. Your affirmation is worked for you, the money is gone. But so you have to be specific. It is your money or your uh, consumption and your highest and best of your interest. So that way you need to be giving that affirmations very specific and um, uh, very definite with the date and for your consumption, for your happiness, for your joy. So that way. So you have to build affirmation in that way. Okay, you can take help from experts like, you know, or, or um, anybody uh, closer to you. And now nowadays everything is available online. So you can design affirmations accordingly. Yeah, Varsha, you asked for uh, the chakra. Yeah, so uh, seven chakras, ka, uh, uh, I'll just show you as, as Varsha, Varsha is asked uh, for so we'll start with the root chakra. So when you can place your foot, placing little outwards, okay? So your goddess pose you go to. So get your opening around the groin area, perineum region. So you go like that for the root chakra, okay? Also, it will work a bit on the sacral chakra. As always, we know when you work on the lower chakra, it works on the little bit of upper chakra as well. So exhaling, going down. Exhaling, going down. So exhale as you go down. And inhale, come up. Exhale as you go down. Inhale, come up. So this works like that. Okay, when you're when you're doing that, you can just imagine your root chakra and sacral chakra and work. Exhale, negativity is out of your root chakra and then inhale. Exhale, negativity is out of your sacral chakra and inhale. So that way you can work on the affirmations along with the chakra uh, for the uh, root and sacral there. And when it comes to um, uh, the solar plexus. The twisting is also good. Okay. So you twist here and breathe. So you're twisting from the center, twisting from the center. So your solar plexus is functional here. So one more way of doing it. So exhale and inhale. Push your bottom part of the ribcage forward. Exhale and inhale. Feel your solar plexus region. And do the affirmations for the solar plexus, whatever you want. I take charge of my life, etc., etc. Whatever um, uh, affirmations you're doing for the solar plexus. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. So the cell, when it comes to root chakra, also your um, uh, root uh, affirmations you can do. Sacral, you can do the sensual and sexual pleasures of life. All those affirmations. And then heart chakra, as I gave you one one. So this is also for heart chakra, gently opening your heart and then relax. As you open your heart, you can say, I, I am ready to receive and give love. Okay, you can do it. You can sit like this and just gently. So it is not about stretching now. 
be very clear it is not about stretching it is about opening the heart and feeling that area and giving that affirmations there okay and then throat chakra also right left up down whatever you need to do and then or extension look up and feel that extension and breathe and then give that throat chakra affirmation about self esteem and communication skills etc which will help you help you on the throat chakra and then comes to agya chakra so you can just just bring your awareness here it starts working okay you you will start getting that sensation and then give your agya chakra affirmations along with that and even if you want to do something you can just roll your eyebrows watch your nose dip roll your eyebrows watch your nose dip so all these things will work on the affirmations along with the chakra anybody else any other questions which is chakra based hi yeah. yeah i was told that we are not committed to i mean i don't know that that occipital nerve is at the back of our neck and uh -huh. first not to move our head right back is it is it true no no because no, no. You, that we can move our heads right back yeah you can move you can move your head right back not a problem that won't be a problem no that won't thank be you see thank it depends you so much. on what to, um, uh, if you're like you know going for the like you know back chakra is active or front chakra is active accordingly okay uh, so that way that comes in an advanced stage so that's okay like you know initially you just focus on those seven major chakras so we don't go back chakra front chakra mein sab nahi jaate hum udhar we are just talk bothered about you can just do or you can just keep rotating your neck and then give the affirmations activating that chakra along with the uh, mind and body integration which we spoke about so it is No, nice thing varsha to bring it uh, here so that like no sorry varsha nahi tha ko ne arpit tha apurva so okay so for getting it uh, so that like you know it was good for uh, the same thing it came here uh, like you know it was in the tandem with what we were talking about asana based affirmations okay so anybody any other questions because i cannot see the questions here so if anybody is past question and it is yeah tell me Sir, are you going to conduct the workshop for this? Uh, you can contact Varsha on this because uh, their team is working, doing a lot of workshop. Which one we are talking about on the oh, chakra? Based on the affirmation and all. Affirmation. Yeah, affirmations and all. Together. Like you know, you you can follow me on the page. Like you know, I, I'll put my this thing in the group, or you can okay, note sir. down my number nine double zero four five three. Yeah, yeah, I'm having surgery. Yeah, so yeah, so those things I keep announcing uh, different workshops, and okay. the chakra based workshops actually I have also learned from uh, Atman Parmar who's organizing all these, and uh, Varsha who's the main uh, culprit. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Hi, Ratesh. Hi. Who's this? Geeta Arora. Ah, uh, you remember? <laughs> no, I can't see you because uh, I'm only highlighted. Let me. Yeah. Okay. We have. We met in the yoga institute. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tell me, how are you? <laughs> I just saw your name and I'm like, okay, I should not miss the session. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I hope nice the session was helpful. Actually, I, I came that... in a little late. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you were not there. I think uh, Varsha, they'll get the recording. Yes, tomorrow it will get posted on the group. Oh, okay. it'll be in the group yeah. actually. So you okay. can contact me. I'll forward it to you. Okay. Ratish, even I joined a bit late. I just came back from my travel. Neha, this is Neha. Hi. Acha, yeah, yeah. Just contact me tomorrow. I'll uh, forward the link. Whatever Varsha is forwarding me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Circle of peaceful progress. Uh, Apurva will share it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Hi, Ratish. Can. Hi. Uh, Uh, affirmation help you for slip this as well. Affirmations will help you for slip this as well. But I am, as I am telling you, like you know, it's good to do mind and body integration. Like you know, do the uh, learn whatever asanas need to be done for slip this properly from okay. any teacher whom you know, 
uh, and then you can incorporate that affirmation. And when you're doing it, you are like, you know, particularly for that uh, vertebrae, you're doing that affirmation. So it will really, really help you. Okay. Thank you so much. Asana based affirmation will always help you. Like Bujangasan, like uh, standing up for yourself. People have that yeah. issue. Standing up for yourself. You can also work on that uh, Bujangasan when you're doing uh, yes. lying down on the back and raising your uh, upper yeah. body up. So like, you know, like a cobra pose, it's a cobra yeah. pose that will help you in uh, uh, standing up for yourself. So okay. those people who have issues in doing that in their lives. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody? What about the affirmations for uh, people who are, I mean, resisting exercise? People who are resisting exercise. Yes, so, supposing you have to do that. Uh, so you have to see, the, you have to find an affirmation ki why are you resisting it? Okay. Is it laziness or what is You have to find the root cause. Everybody's got mm -hmm. a different root cause uh, yeah. for uh, exercise. See, it is, uh, uh, there are some people who are very hyper about uh, asan practice or exercising or mm -hmm. going to the gym. There are some people who are not, but when it comes to money, everybody is mm -hmm. focused. Why? It is all because mm -hmm. of mass belief. Okay, because we are brought up like that. Like, you know, you have to go to school, then you have to go to college, then you have to earn, then you have to start living your life, then you have to, like, you know, the more you earn money, the more you are um, uh, in the society respected. So that is put in our mind. So that is why we are, but this is not put in your mind in from your childhood. Like, you know, you have to exercise only, then you will be healthy, etc., etc. It is not put in your mind. So that is why, like, you know, it is like, you know, in different people's life, it is at different levels. Some people are very good at it. Some people are no interest at exercise. So that way. So you need to understand, go to your childhood, understand what has happened, etc., etc. If it is like, you know, therapy, therapeutic angle, mein, then definitely it will help you. And uh, like, you know, to understand why I am not, do these water affirmations. Automatically, you start generating interest. So that is also a good thing to like, you know, uh, water affirmation. Uh, I generate my interest by whatever, like, you know, uh, July 1st or August 1st for exercising on a daily basis. Just keep doing it, water affirmation. So that doesn't take much time, five seconds to 10 seconds. <laughs> and then you can just... Okay, but your voice is completely mute. I can't hear you, Carol. That's a good idea. I said I was thinking about how to, you know, give a deadline. So it's the water affirmation and giving a deadline that by so and by July first, it's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. So keep give, doing that water affirmation. Give a proper deadline in the highest and best of my interest. I saw you on ki you do the affirmation and then somewhere you met, meet with something else. Touch wood, it should not happen. And then the physiotherapist tells ki if you don't do this, you are then you start doing it. Okay. okay. You have to yeah. be very careful when you're designing affirmations, as I told you. So <laughs> it should not be like, no, I am doing my favorite thing is from first of uh, my highest good. Huh? The safest thing is to add for my highest good. Yeah, it's highest good. Yeah. So that's what so you have to keep mentioning all those uh, small, small uh, points which are like, you know, which can. The universe will give you tapak karke on your plate. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. That is fine. Yeah. So it's like the same, like I told you about the bank account. Like, you know, you never know. Like, you know, you'll ask for X amount and the bank uh, employees uh, says, like, you know, comes and says, like, it has happened in my life. That's why I'm telling you. My wife account mein X amount got deposited and then after five days she thought I surprised her with the amount. This was before marriage. And then one uh, ICIC bank manager calls and says it was a mistake and your money has to be taken back and we had to give the money back. <laughs> so all these things have happened in my life. I'm just giving you personal experiences. Yeah. Anybody, any other questions? I don't know about the chats if there is any question. Are there any specific seven chakras? We already covered it. Okay. Yeah. Is there any specific asana for a stomach? You know, the protruding stomach? 
protruding stomach. Mm. So protruding stomach, you better give affirmation to a liver. Find out liver. Okay, because liver is an organ which burns fat in your body. Okay, liver is somewhere not doing the job properly. So that's why the fat deposit is happening around the stomach. And then the stomach starts protruding out. And then like, you know, you will start thinking, I'm doing so much of diet, etc, etc. But still it is not happening. Ye wo sab aap bolte. Like, you know, then you get frustrated and then you start giving the excuse saying a sign of prosperity, which people start telling. Okay, so this is where uh, you can uh, work on the liver aspect. So what sort of affirmation can I say? Sorry? What affirmation could I say ref the liver? Uh, simple thing, just do water affirmation saying my liver functions to the best of its ability. And in the highest and my, my, my good and best highest and best of my interest. Vaisa. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. And somebody asked for bank account. I have already given the case. Uh, I had a fraud in the bank account and I used these water affirmations and I got all my money back. Uh, even though it was delayed FIR and the bank also was 50% uh, sure of getting my money back. So I got my money back. That's what happened in the bank. Sir, if what happens if we can't sit on the floor and do exercise? No, you can always sit on the chair and do exercises. It doesn't matter. You don't have to sit on the floor. Who says? You can sit on the chair. You can do standing. No need. There are people who cannot uh, lie down on the floor properly. There are people who cannot sit down on the floor, floor properly. So no problem. You can always do the affirmations sitting on the chair. So sitting on the chair also, like, you know, I'll just show you. So I'm sitting on the chair and doing some exercises. So I'm just now bending forward. This is my surrender pose. I'm just surrendering myself. And then I showed you twisting. So this is my twisting. I'm just focusing on flexibility. Okay. So and uh, I sit on the uh, heart opening. I'm just doing heart opening. I raise my arms and heart opening is happening here. Okay. Chest opening, my heart opening affirmation. Throat also is happening. So all those things, all the asanas you can do uh, in uh, sitting also. That doesn't matter. So you have to, it's you have to just go to the meditative state and just do the affirmations along with the pose, whatever pose I have uh, just given you. They can do, yeah, radical using water method. Yes, perfect. Radical also water affirmation you can mix further. So it will be more uh, uh, powerful. So that's what I said. Like, you know, some cases, like now, right now, touch wood, I'm working on a case. I don't know how much it will be. Uh, it's a, one of my clients. Uh, huge, huge amount has been uh, duped. So I am also doing an affirmation for her every day. And she's also doing an affirmation for herself. On the same thing, we are doing both. So it's not a given me result, like how I have given you told other um, uh, things about the result. So this is just started around now. Uh, it's some 10th day or so I have started doing the affirmation. So uh, I mix everything there because it is so huge. So you're, sometimes your own mind says, Ki, is it possible? Aisa karke. So mix things and then do affirmations there, radical and also water and also like, you know, uh, other whatever modalities are there. So everything put together. So I'm helping her like that from my side. Yeah. Anybody else? Any question? Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever is said rocking, interesting. Gita Aurora. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right. So how much does belief play a role? How much does belief play a role? Belief systems are such that it can break in one go. As I told you, like, you know, uh, just coming back to my headstand example, 
people who are like you know sometimes age or oh, uh, like 50 55 year old ladies also come to my workshop and then when they do the headstand they, before coming they are fearful ke aisa hoga kya but they are interested but their past belief system etc etc fear based like you know and then when they do it it's gone and then they send me pics after like you know two months or three months sir this is my progress this is my progress this is my progress karke so it is in your hands to break that belief system if you are strong enough you can break the belief system um, uh, like you know uh, let me tell you a small example let me tell you like you know i was into uh, uh, drinking i was into smoking etc etc in my corporate life as she introduced everybody is into corporate life, uh, corporate life and mostly people are into that and i started uh, after i came into yoga slowly 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 wo sab ek ek karke like you know started going out of my life and then as i progressed in the path of yoga my life food patterns etc etc changed slowly and slowly I, without my knowledge i started changing my so recently i started a sugar campaign no sugar campaign okay so the moment i announced that no sugar campaign you believe it or not like you know sugar is also so much part of our life even though we know ki it is um, uh, uh, complete uh, like you know poison actually the moment i announced i was out of sugar the i was only surprised how is it possible like you know i was out of sugar so belief system is like you know it it can work like this the moment so you have to it works on your past whatever things you have worked so those things will come and give you that power like you know when you take that decision ki now this is done i am done with this so that way it helps you a lot so now i don't touch anything 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 in uh, sugar anything not bakery products nor bread nothing so like you know it's gone out of my system suddenly so that's how belief system can help you if you really really but yeah it comes like you know over a period of time like you know it is slowly slowly worked on it now if i say something i'll i'm done with this it's yes i'm done with this it's so strongly works on your belief system anybody else any questions any questions here in the chat room thank you thank you yeah thank you so much those who found it interesting any questions further thank you ratish yeah all right looks like everybody's so processing uh, and so planning much, their affirmations sorry sorry no, i said looks like everyone's planning their affirmations and processing what you've said so they're all busy <laughs> hopefully and writing amounts so thank you so much this was an yeah. interesting thank, uh, thank you varsha and thank you atman also for thank you all this yeah. thank Sir, you so this much thank you interesting lagta hai next time aap 2 ghante ka session kijiye <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you <laughs> we didn't know anything about this so it was very very much like you know <laughs> helpful also oh very nice very nice it was helpful to you really i'm thankful to yeah wo heart open hota hai na isme thoda dimag open ho gaya sir very good that is what see that is what i'm saying ek open hota hai to dusra open hota hai wo window aapko malum hi nahi padega ye to maine personal experience se bol raha hu ye book ka knowledge nahi hai personal experience i have experienced these things in my life yes so whatever i talk is coming from my personal experience it is never i don't give any bookish knowledge thank you so much sir yeah thank you anybody else any questions actually personal experience is very very influencing yeah yeah because see personal experience i don't have to think i have to just i don't have to cook up stories so it is just i just coming from my heart so and it gives confidence like you know to people like you know when i take my yoga workshops also i have major spinal cord issue i had and i had major uh, knee issue meniscus tear and um, i have gone through a bad hip issue in a rain bad, very bad fall 
I have rectified everything myself where people have like, you know, doctors had almost advice for surgery and all. So this I just give it to people. So 100% confidence aja hai ki ye bande mein kuch hai. So then the workshop starts. So I give that confidence. So it starts from there. So when you have done it on yourself, then you don't have, like, you know, you can tell with conviction ki mene ye kiya hai, aap bhi kar sakte ho, but kaam hai. Aisa nahi ki kaam nahi hai. Hmm. Like, you, know, you just uh, scratch your head and think so you have to work on it. So you have to work on designing a proper affirmation. You have Absolutely to work on it. same story. I also attracted students who had vertigo, who had slip disc. So yeah. when I worked on myself, I could actually help them. Yeah, so that's what. That gives more confidence to people when you, you give your personal experience. If this person has handled it, so uh, yes. he can handle me also <laughs> so that I way. think Romina has a question so yeah. uh, I'd like to know about the knee problem I think I missed it which asana oh, would we do which for, knee, for knees for knees no we didn't speak about knees as such I just gave an example uh, like you know I myself I had a knee issue see anything uh, with the leg uh, usually uh, Varsha will be better to answer that uh, like you know it's something to go ahead with your life like you know yes uh, yeah. yeah so you have to understand what is that exactly which is like you know moving. yeah i know about it so which asana uh, should i do which asana you should do yeah uh, that's about uh, moving forward in life i understand that yeah i'm also working on it so i'd like to know which asana i should do along with my affirmations which asana, see, uh, 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 avoid standing asanas. You can sit on the chair. What mm -hmm. you can do is giving you, so you can sit on the chair, keeping your back straight, full back straight. You can keep something around the lower back to get that support. And then yes. you can just straighten the leg and then give that affirmation to your knee, like, you know, whatever affirmations you are saying. And then, yes. relax. okay, hold it for five, 10 seconds and keep, keep that affirmation. And relax. Keep doing that and alternate between the other leg. Because this knee ho gaya to is me nahi hai, aisa nahi hai. It is there here also. Only mm -hmm. it is come out from your other one side. So you can do affirmations on both sides and then you can actually uh, work on it. This this is a simple thing. See, I don't know exactly what is your issue and all Nika. It needs a bit of diagnosis, but this is a general thing which I gave you, which helps mostly. Okay, this yeah. is a uh, without any harmfulness. Uh, I, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anybody else? Any questions? So combine this asan-based affirmation thing um, along with the uh, uh, like you know rightful affirmations. Actually, also you can. Use the water therapy as I told you. When, I, you. when you use the water therapy, please, water is there, but you also use all the five elements. Okay. So that, like, you know, you are, we are made of five elements. We all know. So the same thing you apply there in your uh, output there. Water element being predominantly strong. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ratish, so much for thank you, thank you, Karen. This interesting insight and spotlighting how you can your belief and addressing even adverse beliefs can, you know, move help you move forward with water and with the asanas. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks, everyone. Thank, thank you. you.